Thank you, my BBD. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. Please let's take our seats. Thank you. Asante ni sana. Leaders present here, my good friends, distinguished Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm Jambo. Amen. Amen. I Washington, D.C. Asanteni sana kwa pia kutafuta nafasi. Najua mmetoka mbali. Many of you have come from different parts of the United States. You spend many hours to come so that we can have this meeting. And I want to say I very sincerely appreciate it. Let me take this uh, moment to thank each and every one of you for doing what a patriotic citizen of any country would do. That you mind about your country, that you pray about your country, and thank you for your support. Uh, I was here a few months ago, just under maybe six months ago, uh, I had a conversation with many of you on what you thought about the future of our country. I explained to you why it was necessary for us to re reset uh, the calibration of our country, why we need to re-engineer our present and refocus our future. And I want to say thank you very much for those of you, and I know the majority of you who supported my quest, who prayed for me, and who yes. voted for us. Yes. Uh, um, let me also take this opportunity on behalf of Kenyans, all of them, seated here, elected from both sides of the divide. I want to say to all of you who are Kenyans, Asante Nisara, thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, lead in our country, um, whether we are on this side of the divide or on the other side of the divide, we are all leaders, and I want to appreciate that you participated in bringing this together. And let me say, this election, the election on the 9th of August was very special. Special in two ways, uh, significantly. Number one is that this election was different. It was about issues. It was about an agenda and a program for the transformation of our country. And both sides of the political divide sold their program, their manifesto, their agenda to the people of Kenya. And the most significant thing that happened is that this year, we voted and we extinguished the flames of ethnicity right. in our country. <laughs> this election was different because Kenyans voted across ethnic lines. For the first time in the history of our country, it's a problem of power somewhere. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. So um, I was making the point that in this election, Kenyans voted against ethnicity. And we stood on the same side as Kenyans to say we can vote for ideas, we can vote for issues, we can vote for an agenda, and we can vote for a plan. Right. The second item that is significant in the election of 9th August is that unlike what everybody always expected of us Kenyans being very passionate people about what we do, that we demonstrated to the whole world that we have set a new standard for ourselves that we can vote, we can go back to 
work, we can go back to our businesses, wait for the outcome of the election, and do so peacefully. I am very proud of all you guys because you have set a new standard for our country. That we can vote on issues and we can vote peacefully. I think many people across the globe continue to congratulate us as Kenyans. In fact, I was speaking yesterday and I was saying that um, to some American friends and I was uh, telling them possibly we had a better election on 9th of August than they did in their last election. <laughs> <laughs> and they somehow agreed. <laughs> right? We didn't, we didn't have people invading capital again. <laughs> 